today we're going to do a book review on John Sneddon's Australian Mini and Moke. Okay, so the title is Australian Mini and Moke, uh, 1961 to 1982. Uh, the author of this book is John Sneddon. So this book I purchased myself um, one about a year ago and I've found it useful. It is useful as a reference book. It's intended to be a reference book. You're not uh, meant to read it cover to cover, but I'm sure there would be people out there that would do that. So, all right, so just t let's take a look at it. So the first part of the book contains a bit of background information and history about the mini production, and it sort of focuses on the, the concept of it, uh, the original UK design, and then also how production moved into Australia and how the Australian models were produced. Um, I can't show you too much because of copyright reasons. I don't want to upset the publishers. Um, so the background information contains there. The second chapter sort of goes over with um, the origins of the UK production and then also how that the Mini was produced in Australia and construction timelines. The other thing it shows as well are timelines which show the company how the company has changed between BMC, Morris, uh, Leyland and, and so on. Um, chapter 3 sort of goes into a bit more detail about saloon production. So the good thing about this book, it actually shows for each Mini that is produced the production numbers. It also shows for each model um, when there's been changes in the specific car. So revisions for that model, it explains the part numbers and also the car numbers that contain those revisions. Um, there also are diagrams showing some of the parts, if parts have been revised as well. Uh, one thing, um, there are quite a few images in here, but I do believe that there would be some cases where the production images aren't available. So more images would have been better, but I guess that's a limitation to what's available. Um, chapter 5 goes into van production. So this sort of shows details about the original um, UK versions and then how the Australian uh, versions of the vans were produced. Uh, chapter 6 goes on to talk about moke production and also there is a section about um, the California mokes as well. Um, the, the very last section then is um, an in appendix which contains a lot of reference information. So that's all useful there. Um, body numbers and so on. Alright so that's a quick review of this book. Um, it is available in a few different places. I purchased mine off eBay, but it can be purchased through... There's a few book publishers that do sell it, um, and I will put some links in the description. So it is a good reference book. It's especially useful if you are um, own a Mini already, or you're restoring one, or you're thinking about buying one, because it does explain for each particular model uh, what revisions exist for it, what features that Mini had, and for the body number, you can get an idea of what um, features your specific model should have. Um, and that's useful if you want to um, do a restoration and keep it original as possible. Alright, so I, I, I give this book a thumbs up. I recommend it. it's a, a good, uh, useful reference book, especially uh, my situation. I want to look at getting another project mini to restore soon. So this is useful so I can sort of check. Um, the body number and see what uh, features that particular vehicle should have. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching.